Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy DJ. I'm going to try to make this pretty short. Okay, what you're looking at right here, guys, is the FMS Suzuki Jimny. Yes, that's right. The FMS Suzuki Jimny project I'm working on. Just got it all stripped down and everything like that. And trying something a little different, as you can see. I'm going for a more military theme. Uh, on this build, yes, that's what I'm trying to do. But we have a very serious problem uh, that we all know that plagues all of the FMS 12th scale vehicles. Okay, and that problem is, when you get right to the point, is power. For some reason, they keep, FMS builds these cars. They put these little bitty motors. There's a motor right here for the FMS Suzuki Jimny. Okay, the problem is this motor is insufficient for their 12 scale models. I don't know why they use it. I love all the 12 scale models. I have almost all their 12 scale models, but still the motor power is inadequate. So uh, um, engineers at FMS, Mr. Power Director, I hope they hear this. If you guys can please make us a bit a bigger motor for this truck here, the, the Jimmy and all the 12th scale vehicles. Uh, this motor here, guys, believe it or not, it's the same size as the Mini Z motor. Okay? It's just that it's a little bit, it's like 20% longer. And uh, I have, I've had Mini Zs for years, so I really know what this motor can and can't do pretty much. This size of a motor. The Mini Z motor, again, is like, I'm going to put my thumb across it. Mini Z motors like that size right there, okay? About right there, that's a Mini Z motor. And that extra part right there would be for this, which is like maybe 25% bigger, something like that than the actual Mini Z motor. So, I measured this, I weighed this vehicle, it's like 2.6 to 2.8 pounds, I believe is what it was. So, uh, that's a lot of weight for this little motor to handle. So what's gonna happen over time is that this motor is going to overheat and burn up and you're going to have to do what I'm doing which is to take apart the transmission ah which is quite interesting this is the transmission for those of you who don't know this right here is the transmission that I have taken apart for the uh, Suzuki Jimny why did I take it apart because I had to remove the motor I didn't have to remove the motor I chose to remove the motor to find out uh, uh, if it's replaceable, you know, with a how easy or how easy would it be to replace? It has a press on pinion gear too, metal press on pinion gear. I don't know how much of a headache that would be, but I know we need more power. So, FMS, please, guys, the guys at FMS, FMS, the engineers or whoever has authority, please talk to your engineering department. This truck needs a much bigger motor. Now, in reality, a car at this weight. Honestly, needs a 380 sized motor. Yes, it really does. But we know that's not possible right now in this vehicle. A 380's motor is not going to attach to this uh, to this gearbox here. Here's the top half of the gearbox. The motor goes in right here, guys. Watch my watch what I'm doing. This is where the motor goes in. Okay, the motor goes in like that. So you can see that. Let me see. See the pinion gear right there. That's how it goes in. The motor goes in that way and it goes on top like that down to the the casing, okay? Uh, so the problem we have is you can't put a 380s or any other type of motor uh, into the Jimny. It has to be a 180 size motor, which that really limits us, okay? As far as motor options, like I also have the FJ45. I'm going to want to put a bigger motor in that. You know, just I know these motors over time they will burn out if you put too much weight on them. They're great for the Mini Z. Like I said, the actual size of the Mini Z motor is about right there where my thumb cuts it off. Okay, about right, about right there. So this motor is way like what five times bigger than the Mini Z, <laughs> something like that. And they're using the same type of motor. It's inadequate. So FMS, please hear me on this. This is constructive criticism, FMS. 
this motor that you guys are using on these 12 scale vehicles, especially the Jimny, it's uh, way inadequate. Okay? It'll work, but it's still inadequate. You know, I'm sure you guys heard, heard it from a lot of other people that have the model that they complain about the power output. This is why. This is inadequate, guys. So what would be nice, and I know Traxxas is coming out with their TRX4M. Well, it uses the same motor, okay? The Traxxas TRX, TRX4, whatever, TRXR4, <laughs> TRX4, it uses a 180 size motor. So it uses the same size motor. So if they come out with a brushless motor system uh, of the same, you know, whatever diameter that will work on the Traxxas truck, it will more than likely also work on this truck. But this truck is way heavier, man. This truck weighs almost three pounds. Okay? That's a lot of weight. This truck weighs a whole pound more, a, a pound and then some, like a one pound, three ounces more than the uh, Toyota FJ45 that they just released. And they both used the same motor. Okay? And then the little Jimmy Willie's Jeep, it uses this motor. And that's even underpowered for that truck. And that truck is the lightest out of all of them. It's a Jimny. So it's like 1.3 pounds, something like that. 1.5, 1.3 pounds. So, yeah. So, guys, I, I, I'm throwing down a challenge for people, everybody that's into the FMS 112 trucks, like the Jimny, especially the Jimny. Please put our brains together. And we need another motor for this Jimny. We just do. Okay, we need it. It's a need, not just a want. It's a need because this motor is going to burn out. Guarantee if you trail in the right temperature <clears throat> for a good length of time, run a few packs, you're at high risk of burning this motor up. And uh, uh, this is how motor should be. Uh, the Mini Z is a perfect example of supplying an RC truck with of the proper motor. You can drive a Mini Z all day long, Mini Z 4x4 in the trail truck. The trail truck, and you're not going to have a motor problem or an overheating problem because you have options to re-gear it, you know. This mo these size motors are great for the Mini-Z. I don't know why people keep on putting these little bitty motors in these trucks, but FMS does it, and not just FMS, other companies are doing it too, but these motors are inadequate, okay? Even their the FMS little Toyota yellow truck that they have out, that I've seen complaints, and even the Chevy, the red one the, of that little motor burning out. So you got FMS, please hear me. You guys are putting inadequate motors in these smaller scale RC trucks. Okay. Now what's going to be upsetting for people is many people are going to want to go into the truck and see and change the motor out. You know, a lot of people aren't going to want to do that. So the best thing to do is put in a, the correct size motor in here and then they won't have to worry about it probably for at least eight, nine years. <laughs> If you put a proper trail truck motor in, in a vehicle, I know I've done it. I've run uh, the 540 can motor for years through mud, water, and everything else in various trucks and never had a problem. Never even burnt one up in my trail rigs. Even the cheap $12 to $15 540 motors or 550 motors. So, guys, FMS, I'm throwing down a challenge here, guys. Let's find a motor, serious motor upgrade for the Suzuki FMS Jimny 112th model. Now, here's another suggestion that I have to you engineers out there, those of you who are into uh, you know, fabricating different parts. Fabricate a transmission that will work on this truck with a 380 motor, okay? If nothing else, a 280. A 280 with a serious gear reduction, it'll work. You know, it'll work, but this motor, this truck really needs a 380 size motor. Trust me on that. Very much. This thing is almost three pounds. Two point, like I said, 2.6, 2.8 pounds. One of the two, I can't remember. So, I'm throwing down the challenge here. I know we got some smart guys out there that will come up with a way. I've looked and searched the internet. I haven't seen one person come out with a legitimate mod, a motor mod for this truck. And it's kind of depressing because... Uh, upon taking this truck apart, man, I got to give FMS some credit. This thing is even more impressive when you take the body off the chassis 
it's even more impressive, okay? I really have a lot of respect for this truck and whoever designed it, uh, Power, Mr. Power Director, Mr. Victor, who's a really nice guy. Uh, this is an amazing vehicle, guys. You guys almost got a perfect run, a perfect scale model here for uh, RC driving. All it needs is, I mean, I can modify the, the shock. I can get oil shocks on here. That's not a big deal. I'll be able to do that. But the motor, you guys have to make these trucks with the option to switch out the motor. That's true. RC, uh, 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 you know, hobbying or whatever the word would be. That's what we want. You guys know that. We always have to have the option to switch up the motors in any RC car. Any RC car. When you make a proprietary motor setup, it makes it really hard. You know, like this pinion gear here. It's a press-on. You know? That makes things more difficult. And the mo also, guys... This motor is not adjustable. Uh, yeah, you just stick it in and bolt it down. There's no adjustment to that you can do. There's no gear mesh setting or anything. You just put the motor in the transmission and bolt it down, and it just lines perfectly up. That's all fine and dandy if you have an adequate motor, but when you have an inadequate motor like this that's not putting out enough oomph, then you got a problem, Okay. You can't, you can't adjust the uh, pinion gear mesh or anything. So we really need a motor, guys. It's going to work. And also, this pinion gear is really funky. That's going to be a challenge, too. You know, is making that fit on another motor shaft if it's not spleened. So, yeah, I'm throwing this challenge down here. The FMS Suzuki J Jimmy challenge of finding a motor, a direct drop-in motor. Brushless would be great, not for speed, but just sheer torque. You know, brushless would be great because again, there's no pinion mesh on this thing. You know, just plug it in and drive. You know, bolt the motor up and drive. But the transmission is very impressive, guys. Look at that. FMS, this is killer. But the, the, the weird thing is that they have this, this great looking transmission engineered to the max, to the hilt, with metal gears and everything else. It's so sophisticated. It's lubed up really good, it's high quality. But you got a little bitty motor that's not put, putting that transmission to work. <laughs> it's kind of strange. This motor is not giving this transmission to work out in any way. That's metal gears, man. And uh, I, I want to put that transmission to work, but this, this motor does not do it, guys. FMS, hear me on this. You guys got to come up and hop up motors for your 112 cars. And I even have the, uh, the, uh, the Commander Wagon, Type 82. Okay, it has one little Mini Z motor in it. I don't know why you guys did that. Why did you guys do that, FMS? The Type A2 Kubo Wagon has a Mini Z motor in it. Look at the size of the Mini Z. And look at the Kubo Wagon, the Beetle. Okay, I have that. It's, I, it's awesome. But you guys put this little bitty Mini Z motor in that car. I, I don't understand the logic in that. You know, also RC4 Wheel Drive, they do the same thing. They make a micro trail truck. And they put this little bitty .30 motor in it, or smaller. And then what happens is, uh, you drive it for a couple of days or a few weeks, and then the motor burns up. Then they have to come out with a V2 version 2 transmission. Okay? So these are the realities of uh, 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 some of the engineering that goes on in RC. You know? Yeah, they're smart enough. These guys, companies are making these cars. But a lot of these people are not, uh, they're not, uh, 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 into RC and they don't even drive trail trucks they just look at the fact that the motor will turn the vehicle blah 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 then you get these little cars almost all of them all of these cars almost have inadequate motors even the SCX24 has an in inadequate motor yeah now um, FMS did a good deal when they came out with the power wagon uh, the FCX24 <laughs> It has the motor options. You can get even a bigger motor for that thing. That thing operates off of the off of the Mini Z platform motor, and it's awesome, absolutely awesome. Okay, you guys did a good job on that. Okay, I I'll give you props. Your one ten stuff, that's that's all fine, but your your one twelve stuff, you guys, these motors are puny and weak, and over time they are going to burn up. It's very upsetting, uh, to say the least. But the Kubo wagon. The commander wagon, 
it technically can take two motors. I don't know why, FMS, why didn't you guys just put the two motors in there? Again, that Kuba wagon, it lacks power too. Yeah, you put it in super slow gear, it's got torque, but you leave it in high gear, it's got some torque, but it lacks power. You guys should have put two motors in there. You, you got the other side empty to do that, but, you know, you guys are operating a... A, a, a 112 size Volkswagen Beetle with a Mini Z motor. That doesn't make any sense. I've been in the RC a long time. I've been in the trail trucks a long time. More than most of the guys on the internet, I've been doing this. I was trailing with the Tamiya Hummer 20 years ago, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Before YouTube was up. And I've used the 550 can motors. And they work great. Even the cheap ones by Tamiya. If you gear it properly, you can, those motors will last for years. I know because I did it. I did it. I had all the little Tamiya, the little Tamiya uh, F-150, I think it was. I had that one. I had the Hummer. Yeah, they were crappy cars as far as chassis, but that's really all we had. You know, were that type of vehicle. So FMS, guys, consider what I'm saying, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm giving constructive criticism to FMS. You guys got do great work. Your models are look, looking great. You guys overbuild the transmission, which I absolutely love, which is awesome. But then you put these little bitty puny motors, puny motors, and then this elaborate tra transmission and in a heavy vehicle like this. So, FMS, I'm here to tell you that all of your 112 scale models are underpowered. Hear me on this. This is constructive criticism. You know, I have the TRX-4 and all those other cars. I have the, uh, uh, what else do I have? Um, mini cars. I have mini cars. I've had Bruiser. I've got the Bruiser clone re-release like everybody else. I've got the, uh, uh, I forgot the name of the Toyota truck I got. Very expensive truck from Boom Racing. I BRX-01. Yeah, I got one of those. You know, I know what a trail truck's supposed to do. And uh, this is not it. This is... A trail truck. This little Jimmy is wonderful. But FMS, you guys put a little bitty motor in this wonderful truck. It's very upsetting. At least what you guys could do, I'll give you some suggestions. Come out with a better built motor designed to handle the weight and torque. Okay. Uh, 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 that will work. Or come up with another transmission, a crawler transmission that can handle, fit it somehow into this setup that like a where set it up with like a 380s motor at least a 280s motor at least and if you gear it right it will work you know but have it where we can swap the uh motors in and out without a bunch of drama have a standard pinion gear you know if that's if that's possible fms you know consider making uh another transmission for this truck that's a crawler transmission that a 380 motor can be mounted to. And forget the gear shift. If somebody was to design a, a, a stealth transmission, you'd probably have the room under this chassis to mount a 380 motor, a 380 size motor, or at least a 280. But this guy's, come on, this is pathetic. I can't believe you guys did this. Again, RC four wheel drive, they do the same thing. You know, I bought an RC four wheel drive uh, 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 I forgot what you call it. Not Land Rover, but anyway, fully metal uh, uh, kit, whatever. They put this little bitty motor that's smaller than the, than the Mini Z motor in that truck. And it, 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 the truck would run maybe a, co a couple weeks, burn out, and then they came out with a so called version 2 transmission. Same motor, different transmission. You know, they're trying this gear reduction thing. Yes, gear reduction works, but only so far. If you Use a little bitty motor to power a big truck, it will move the truck. But over time, that motor, because it's too small, and that heat has to go somewhere, it's going to burn out the motor, guys. You engineers know this. Okay? Think about it. This is constructive criticism. All right, guys, I'll be quiet. Video's too long. Later.